Yo, what's good, my people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Josian, and this is Kingdom Sense. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from the house of Flavia. Now, Flavia is a sub brand of Armaf. Everybody knows Armaf because of the Club de Nuit line. You have Club de Nuit Intense Man and all those other guys. They honestly, the Club de Nuit line like, sp like catapulted them so high. And they, uh, Sterling Perfumes is the company that uh, is above everything. It's, it's, it it uh, controls everything. Armaf, um, I think they have one called Just Jack. So they have a few other brands, sub brands, and this is one of them. It's called Flavia, and they came out with a line that is cloning or imitating or inspired by um, Louis Vuitton. Now we all know Louis Vuitton fragrances are really, really expensive, and this is an alternative for you, okay? So uh, the fragrance that we're gonna be talking about today is going to be cloning the uh, Louis Vuitton fragrance called Lemensity, and the fragrance is called Limpression. Clever, right? So it's called Limpression, Limpression Parfum. Um, and this is the the box it comes with. There's Flavia right there. And it comes in this box, which is very, very similar to the Louis Vuitton. You have the sticker of authenticity in the back, which honestly, I can't believe we actually have to worry about that now. But And then when you open up the bottle for the box, here's the, the fragrance inside. Okay. So uh, we're going to take a look at this. It is a 100 milliliter bottle. We're going to take a look at this. So here is the bottle. Now th these bottles are kind of weird because it looks like this is like a part of the, like the rim of the bottle and you just kind of pop it out, but it doesn't, it kind of, it is, it's in there, but it is a slide on, but it, it is pretty tight. And there you have the name of the fragrance uh, and you have some information at the bottom, but that's pretty much it. Very minimal presentation so uh this fragrance is very fresh green citrusy type of fragrance for those that have smelled lemensity you know what i'm talking about now i don't want to talk too much i want to get into the fragrance so this comes off like this this is the atomizer check it out so not bad not the not the worst okay Mm. All right. So off top, this one has a slight alcohol tinge. Not much. It only lasts for a few seconds. After a few seconds, the alcohol goes away. And that, that even happens with just regular designer fragrances. So that's no big deal for me. Now this one, it has... It is... Lemensity, Louis Vuitton Lemensity. This is Louis Vuitton Lemensity. It is a classic fragrance that is more of a, it's more of a classic manly fragrance that has some greenery and has some citruses and some woods. And it is absolutely, I love it. This is, this is a signature scent worthy type of fragrance here. And um, I, I love this fragrance. This, uh, this goes it comes very, very, very close to the original. Okay. Now, um, this has, I don't know if it's rosemary or mint. It has some citruses at the top. So it's very vibrant. It has some ginger. So it's very uplifting. This is not something that I would, uh, think about wearing in a date on a date or, going out at night or something like that. Unless it's really, really hot, this is this will be perfect. But this is a perfect spring summertime fragrance. Um, and I think that is very uplifting. It's very, it's very bright and energetic. Um, so this is the type of fragrance that this is and it smells amazing. It, I absolutely love it. It smells amazing. It smells spot on to the original. Now, um, we are going to be comparing this to Mason Alhambra's version of that, which is Jean Low Immortal. Now, this fragrance I got first, and then I got 
tactile impression. And if you look, this one is uh, a little bit chunkier. This one's thinner, has a, th a thicker base and everything like that, but very similar, like identical color in the, in the juice. And this one, the cool thing about this one, it actually has a magnetic cap. So if that's important to you, then cool. So we are going to spray this one side by side and smell them and compare. And I'll let you know which one I think smells closest and the best. So here's the atomizer for the Gene Low. So when it comes to the cap, magnetic cap, magnetic cap, Gene Low wins. When it comes to the atomizer, Gene Low's atomizer is not that good. I give a point to Limpression. So what do I get with this one compared to the other one? This one is definitely greener. And this one is definitely... Is they're very close. Both of them are extremely close. Both of them are extremely good clones. Having these two here means that you don't have to go out and spend three to four hundred dollars on a Louis Vuitton fragrance unless you are balling like that. If you have the money and if you uh, can spend that type of money and not have an issue, then go ahead. You can spend the money any way that you want. But these fragrances are sub $50, sub $50, and you get incredibly, incredibly close to the original DNA. Not only that, but they actually last really, really a, a pretty good amount of time c considering they are fresher fragrances this is citrus uh scents and ginger scents and all that those usually don't last very long because of their nature they are very light airy and that's why they don't last long they don't have a lot of staying power but these fragrances actually last pretty long i would say about f five to seven hours i think that the gene low lasts a little bit longer um, I will say I'll give it closer to the six to seven hours impression. I will say five to six hours. If you overspray, obviously you can, and they will both last you longer. But I think that out of both of these, okay. Out of both of these, I think the closest one to Louis Vuitton's Lemensity is going to be the Limpression Parfum. The Limpression Parfum actually smells really, really close to both of them smell really close. And I, right now I'm just nitpicking. I sprayed these on. I've worn both of these so I could tell you what my experience is. The Limpression has a more, let's say, balanced scent when it comes to uh the the scent profile of uh lemensity this one has a more balance this one has a little bit more of this uh classic masculine type of of scent while the gene low version i i think it leans more towards the citrus and the and the green side it has a little bit more green and because of that even though the immortal is is like not as close to Lemensity as Limpression, which are very, very close either way. Either one of these will be perfect for you guys, no matter what, like you could find uh, this one at Joma Shop right now, the Immortal one, that one is hit or miss, sometimes it's on, in stock, sometimes it isn't. It is very popular right now, but the Immortal is, to me the better fragrance to me it lasts longer it has a magnetic cap and to me it smells better in my this is my taste this is all subjective obviously but to my to my nose and for my taste i like the gene low immortal better but if you want to get closer to the louis vuitton lemensity and you like that more classic masculine type of scent this one the immortal leans more green and more citrusy while this one has a little bit more balance with all the other notes and the woody notes and everything like that if you like that type of fragrance then go right ahead and pick up the impression but to me the the winner when it comes to scent profile and how it smells 
goes to Jean Lo Immortal. The winner when it comes to how close it gets to the original will be uh, Limpression. So those are my first initial thoughts or glorified initial thoughts of uh, Flavia's uh, Limpression Parfum. I hope you like this video. If you found it helpful at all, please leave a like on the video. Consider subscribing to the channel because it helps me out so much. And leave a comment down below. What is your favorite Louis Vuitton fragrance right now? Louis Vuitton is extremely popular. So many houses are duping them. Fragrance World is going at it. Uh, Sterling Perfumes like Flavia is going at it. Jean Lo is going at it. So there, there's going to be a lot of different clones of Louis Vuitton. And they do smell incredible. So let me know what is your favorite Louis Vuitton in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.